Welcome back and silver has been shining this year with prices rising 7% already in this year alone. This has come on the back of low inventories with COMEX and the London Bullion Market Association. However, the rise in price has experts worried about a dip in demand. Remember, India imported a record amount of silver last year with many more buying the metal as a form of investment, jewellery or even silverware. So how far will silver prices rise this year and what lies ahead in store for the metal? For those questions, I am now joined by Michael Dorenzio, his Executive Director of the Silver Institute. Michael, hi, thank you so much for joining us. And what a last year and the way the first quarter of this year also has panned out has been quite on the stronger side. We have seen very strong gains continue in case of silver. What's your sense on, first of all, the prices going forward? Well, in terms of the price, look, at I think the price has a lot more room to run, okay? So the average this year so far, um, if you go through today from the January, it's about $23.13. And uh, that's up on last year's average. So the price is performing okay. We think there's a lot more room to run, however, as we progress throughout the year. All right. How are you looking at the demand then? Because last year, India imported record numbers. This year, the demand is lesser. And because we imported so much last year, we're sitting on a huge inventory. In terms of last year, let's take that for example. Last year was a record year, okay? 1.24 billion ounces of silver um, of, of demand. And quite frankly, it's going to be hard this year to get to that level. We're calling for a small decrease, but yet even so, those numbers are still going to be quite strong when you look at a five-year step back. So it's going to be another good year for silver. Um, and, you know, India led the way last year. India, India led the way in jewelry demand, silverware demand, investment demand. Um, they had a very strong um, industrial uh, demand. And uh, while we think there may be a little bit of a drop off this year, um, it's still going to be very, very strong. <laughs> so when you say that, any numbers that you're putting out there in sense of demand from India this year? In terms of industrial demand, we're projecting uh, about a 6%, our total demand about a 6% decrease. We think that industrial man's demand is going to grow by about 4%. We think electronics and electrical will grow by about 3%. Um, and uh, jewelry will probably dip a little bit at maybe 10%. Um, and also silverware. Now, remember, that's coming off a really exceptional 2022. Mm. Michael, you were recently in India, and what do you think that Indians are buying when it comes to silver? Because ETFs seem to be doing quite well. Physical demand is expected to pick up once we get into the festival season, which isn't too far. We heard some good uh, presentations in India at the inaugural India Silver Conference in Jaipur last weekend. And quite frankly, they are dipping into waters into, in, into the ETF. I mean, it's quite phenomenal. It's only been on the market a year, two years or so, and it's showing great strength. Uh, the physical side, as you mentioned, will begin to pick up again um, as that season approaches. But quite frankly, the interest in all things silver from an investment, including digital silver, uh, which is rather new, uh, is quite interesting. And I think that uh, the Indians will continue to play an important role in the uh, investment uh, component of the silver complex. Mm. So, Michael, you've told us that physical demand will do well, investment demand will also do well, but what's your sense on the industrial demand now for India and China too? Absolutely. You know, we're calling for just a 4% a increase in industrial demand uh, by the end of this year. And that, of course, is, is, is really uh, dependent on what we think is going to happen with electric vehicles, what we think is going to happen with other, the whole automotive sector, but also in photovoltaics. We think that the PV sector is going to go from about 140 million ounces last year to over 160 million ounces this year. And we think that's going to continue to grow as the years progress. So we're very optimistic about industrial demand uh, for 2023. OK. Also requesting some more numbers now, Michael. So what's your sense on the deficit in this year, availability, mining, demand, supply, if you have those calculations at hand? We think that this year, um, you know, there'll be 
maybe a 2% increase in mine supply. And that's primarily due to the fact that some of these projects are coming back online. There's a few new projects, but 2% isn't a real big number. Look, we, this is the, we, we think that 2023 will be the third year of market deficits. Starting in 2021, 2022, we had a massive deficit of darn near uh, 240 million ounces. And this year, we think that deficit is going to decrease a tad to 141 million ounces. But again, that is a historically high number uh, when you look at the market deficits. And we're firmly convinced that the silver market has entered a new era of market deficits from here on forward. All right, that's another bullish view coming in for silver. Third year of deficits and demand continuing strong. Michael, as always, thank you so much for joining us. And with that, it's a wrap on this edition of Commodity Champion. Thank you for watching.